Howe, and this is your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Today, I'm in the TDC Net Network Operating Center, talking about what the heck is an SSL certificate, and why should you care about SSL? Well, let me answer that question for you. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. It, what SSL basically does is it establishes an encrypted link between your web browser, if you're web surfing, and the web server that's hosting the website that you're going to. You know why that's important? Well, it ensures the traffic between you and the website that you're on doesn't get intercepted by a third party. So say if you're entering a credit card number, or you're entering some personal information, or you're, you're surfing through your email, that sort of thing. You don't want that to be, you don't want that to be in, intercepted by a third party. It's a standard that's used by millions of websites around the world. It's basically the global standard. So when you're, when you're web surfing, here's how you know if the site that you're on is SSL. You go in the address bar, look at the top, it will either say HTTP or it will say HTTPS. If it says HTTPS and there's a lock icon and the lock is locked, then you know you're on a site that's encrypted and secured with SSL. So it's much safer web surfing. If it doesn't have HTTPS, then you should be careful. You shouldn't be entering any sensitive information into that website because it could get, the traffic could get intercepted when it's out on the internet. Now, if you're doing web hosting on the other side of things, it's, it's a different story. Here's what you have to keep in mind for that. If you want your, your visitors, your clients, your customers, that sort of thing to feel secure, which you probably do, you're going to need an SSL certificate for your website. So you have to go out and buy one. They can range anywhere between $60, $70 up to $150, depending on the type of certificate that you buy. Now, in order to get one, you have to pay the money, but you have to also go through a few other steps. You have to complete a bunch of information about your organization, uh, and then you have to generate what's called a certificate signing request, or CSR, as they're more commonly called then that gets submitted to the certification authority who validates all the details, basically goes through and checks out your organization, makes sure you're legit, that you're not doing anything that you shouldn't be doing, and then they will issue an SSL certificate for you. And then you can apply that to your website. The private key goes on your web server, and that's what allows you to create an encrypted link between your web server and the web browser of your clients, customers, visitors to your website. So, now most people don't understand SSL, don't really know what it's used for. What you, the bottom line that you need to know is HTTP versus HTTPS. If you see that HTTPS, you know that the site is secured using SSL. A couple of practical implications on this. Uh, a lot of businesses use Exchange servers and they use webmail. On the webmail or Outlook web access, you can secure that with SSL. Makes it more secure for your email traffic going back and forth. Banks, credit card companies, uh, anywhere that's using, asking for private information on their, their website, they use SSL as well. So there you have it. I hope it, this cleared some things up for you about SSL. I'm Brendan Howe. This has been your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Have a fantastic day.